Today I'm going to talk about that when you try to do too much at once, when it comes to self-awareness or any type of a self-development, it can actually block you. And instead, you should focus on changing little by little because you have to be aware of your own nervous system that maybe your brain, your mind, your cognition wants to achieve a lot, but is going to put too much pressure on these uh, more childlike parts and it can actually block you instead of taking you further. And to understand uh, what this is, I'm going to bring up two strategies that I use in a marketing that is going to help you. Because marketing, I would actually call it the dark psychology that all of the evil <laughs> psychologists use their knowledge instead of helping people, helping the big companies to manipulate people to buy useless bullshit they don't need because these people and the marketing people came up with the most advanced strategies how to talk to you but when you believe you make a rational decision where you buy something you don't understand the marketing that when they talk to you they don't talk to your cognition they talk to your subconscious and they actually do all the tricks that would communicate with that part of you without you even realizing it. And I got into marketing and even learning about marketing because my key thing was that I didn't want to be controlled and I wanted to learn everything about my mind, uh, or anything about myself, that is my blind spot, that other people could control me uh, because I'm just not aware of myself. So these are going to be two strategies that I'm going to share with you that are actually helpful for you. And they are going to have you understand how fast you can change and how you can even manipulate your own nervous system in order to move forward. So the very first thing is going to be an acronym and it's going to be Maya. And it's coming from most advanced yet acceptable. And what this marketing strategy means is that when they try to sell something to people, they have to be aware of that it cannot be too different from what people know. So, for example, if Steve Jobs came up with the idea of the smartphone a hundred years earlier, he would have gone bankrupt because there was nothing to compare to. Our mind has the need that it has to be already got used to something. So we use the phone that was this, this type of dial phone that it went through development and then we could uh, push buttons on it. Then it went through development that that was a huge thing when you could uh, move the, the phone part away and you could walk around in the house. Then you got the beeper, then you got uh, like the, the early uh, mobile phones, then you had like the Nokia type. So we already got used to something and it was just a more advanced version of it. What means is that you have to also be very aware of that your own mind is going to reject anything that is too different. So you have to create some sort of a stability in yourself. You go through a self-awareness development, but it's like little by little, then you wait a little bit so your nervous system can get used to it. So there is some rigidity. Then you move a little bit again and then again, like you get used to it. Then you move a little bit again. So it's always little by little. You don't try to change too much because what happens is your nervous system gets into an anxiety that, oh my God, this is too much change. We can't deal with it. 
And this is what you have to be aware of because you see yourself as one single human being while within you there are different types of nervous systems and some of them are at a very, very childlike stage and they cannot move this much what your brain can comprehend. So you have to slow down and uh, be aware of this weakness that you have and we all have, by the way. The second, and this is going to be the last trick, it's called the foot in the door. And this is a very, very common sales technique that when they want to sell you something, they never try to sell you that very thing first because it's again, it's similar to this Maya thing that it's too much from they don't know you, they don't trust you, and they try to sell you, for example, a product that is a thousand dollars. What they do is foot in the door means that they give you something that is really small um, and there is not much risk to agree to. So that's the foot in the door. So, uh, for example, they sell you something for $7 first or they give you something that is free, like a free PDF. Doesn't really matter what that is, but they give you something that you would agree to very easily because there is a huge difference between the end goal and just like the very, very first step. And as soon as you said yes, it means that there is a connection between you and the seller and you have already trusted the person. You have already um, said yes at once. And this is what you see generally when you click on a Facebook post or whatever post that they take you on a landing page and on the landing page, the first thing is going to be the $7 or $25 something. And then they take you to similar products that are going to cost you a lot more. And at the end, many people very easily spend hundreds of dollars. And this is also called a sales funnel that later on, when you are still engaged, they are going to try to push more and more expensive things. And the end goal is not going to happen to everyone, but they are going to more likely to get more customers through these steps compared to if they tried that very big thing straight away because it's just too much stretch. Uh, by the way, governments do exactly the same thing. When they want the public to do something, they don't start with that. They just push them a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. And at the end, they are going to get you to do what they really wanted in the beginning. So you can use this for yourself as well. That you don't, you know what you want, but you don't try to push that thing on yourself. You try again, little by little by little, and you allow your nervous system to get used to the change. And you basically uh, realize that it's more a child self and you basically bribe yourself to do that. And you keep moving and moving and moving and moving and moving and you remain patient with yourself because you become aware of your own weaknesses, which is basically your nervous system. And you are not your nervous system. You have to recognize it. So basically, it's not a fault. You just have to understand how it operates. And also in the future, because I told you these two techniques, you will be a lot more aware how to be um, aware when people are trying to sell you useless crap you don't need. See you in my next video.